All right, so here we go with round one. We're expecting a lot of action and really to see both women challenged in all phases of mixed martial arts. They're both so talented. They're both so good at every aspect of fighting. I want to see who can truly force their style on the other one. Big leg kick land. Great punch. Try to establish that jab. Beautiful kick. Big leg kick land. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, inside leg kick. I mean, you could hear the thwack from here. Yeah, right away you hear it. You hear the impact at which she's landing this kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Just over three minutes now to go. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Under three minutes remain in round one. Nice counter right hook there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Takedown defense holds up. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. Big punch lands through the middle. She landed the head kick there. And they separate. Big kick lands. Again, back into this position. Oh, she blocks the punch. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch lands over the top. Another punch position. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Oh. What a oh, fight God. so far! All right, DC, take us through the replay. Storyline in that round, certainly her kicking game. She knew that her opponent had more of a boxing stance, so the kicks would be available. She took full advantage of that over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division. And if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? Oh, she loaded up on that uppercut. No good, though. Nice straight punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Look at the turnover in that kick. Beautiful body kick. More clinching. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? 
Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Again, back into this position. Another punch position. Big kick lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big body kick. Oh, you can see her limp it a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Good jab. She blocked the punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, that is a nice jab by her there, as your boy Rosendo Sanchez might say. That was clean. It was so clean. Oh. One of the best female fighters I've ever seen fight behind the jab is Joanna Young Jacek. She controlled people with their jab. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Didn't love that previous round. Both women had some moments, but not necessarily the back and forth high level action that we expected. It was very slow. Both of them were very, very tentative in their approach. Who is gonna make that determination that this is my fight? Somebody has to take the lead going into the next round. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Nice loop and punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. Ty clinch for her here. We'll see what she can do with it. And there comes the separation now. Liver kick. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really... Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Let's keep grinding. Nice punch lands. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Digging kick. Oh, she is such a good striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, keeping busy here off of her back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Big kick lands.
15 seconds. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Big punch from the clinch. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that strike to win a pretty easy decision. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Walker!